these wheels right now <laughs> that's so awesome all right well it looks like we're launching that way <laughs> let's do it a damn jig what the hell i need to find some jig music and put it on right here it's <laughs> okay we're gonna try to launch this this is vulture now this is not one of my ideas this is one that I saw from Aurora Flight Science that DARPA has uh, well embraced the DARPA contract winner Aurora Aurora Flight Science has given us this craft that supposedly will be able to fly and capture all the solar powers for its own uses but mine is currently doing a jig of sorts so we will have to launch here once I get clearance it looks like I have it now. All right, so we're gonna try to steer ourselves away from the light, away from the light. That's the light. No, not the light. God dang! Did we just demolish the light? Screw that light! That's what I'm talking about. Dance your damn jig. Do we blow up anything? No, we are in one piece still. Okay, here we go. Now, this craft is built to capture solar power, but first we have to get it off the ground. I don't know if it's going to work. It's got a lot of lift. A lot of lift. A lot of lift. Come on. Come on. Oh! <laughs> we are amazingly off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't use full throttle because I will crash because I'll run out of electrical power for my probe core so there we go that gives us a nice little balance right there and this aircraft is a pain now this is not the way it would normally fly I'm trying to get up to a good altitude so I can actually bring this thing to its Z formation. That's right, a Z formation and see how well it balances out in its second formation. This is not its final form. <laughs> so what we're gonna see here in a few seconds is an aircraft that transforms itself into a Z formation to capture as much sunlight as possible. And then at night, it flattens itself out in the formation you see here to, to lessen the drag as much as possible so it can just kind of fly high and glide and waste as little power as possible. The theory behind this is to create an aircraft that can fly potentially for ever, forever. That's the goal. So this... I, this one is called Odysseus, and it uses solar energy, so what you're seeing right now would be kind of the idea. Now, theirs, of course, would probably have a bit, they have a bit more complex uh, propellers. My propellers from Fire Spitter, as you can see, are kind of working. They are generating thrust, so I will take that. All right, we're almost at a thousand meters up. So this is really cool. Now they're talking about 160 uh, foot foot wingspans, 160 foot wingspans, and their craft is a lot more complex than what you are seeing here. I can't really do what they're saying right here because I don't have the parts to do it. So I now they did manage to get in front of robotics working for version 1.1, which is what I am using. As you can see, Scatterer as well is working. And I hope to use this now. <laughs> I hope to use this to make it all work. We're a thousand up, so we can work on our, we can do our conversion. So let's get this all ready. Uh, I have a really weird way of doing this, but hopefully it will work for us. Now in their design, this is what you would see. All right, here we go. Oh. 
Oh god, is it gonna stay up? Is it gonna stay up? Is it gonna stay up? No, it does not want to stay up. It does not want to stay up. Okay, okay. We got it, we got it though, we got it, 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 okay. Whoa! It does not want to do this. Alright, let's keep going. Just I think that's where we want it to be, right there. And let's I'm I'm gonna turn mine a bit because I can stabilize it right there. Okay, there it goes. Okay, stable and sucking up that sweet, sweet solar power. Kind of stable. <laughs> but it's still flying! That's the point of it. It's supposed to capture as much solar power as possible. Now, the, the Kerbal is over there, so I would actually have to turn this way and maintain this to keep, keep as much solar power as possible coming to all of my panels. So, there you go. That is a weird thing to try. And it's even stranger when you see it's supposed to fly like, kind of like this, except for mine's kind of going the wrong way, isn't it? <laughs> it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like a Z, where this outer side is supposed to be in the air like this. So mine's kind of backwards, but it is flying. There you go, like that, like that. I think they're looking at it from there. So, yes, like, no, 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 yes, 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 yes. Okay, like this is what it would look like, sort of. <laughs> we need to play this back up. I mean, it is flying. It is very flyable, but it is also very strange to control. Um, and I'm burning through a lot of power, so we're going to flatten this back on now. Nope, nope, not that, not that. Uh, uh, <laughs> it boggles the mind to think that that aircraft can stay in flight like that. Boggles my mind. Of course, they probably have a lot better balancing techniques. And this, I built this thing in like 30 minutes. So it for me, it is a whole lot of designing that would have to go into this. These guys are brilliant geniuses working on aircraft designs. And I'm just me that's not very smart and and can see how things possibly could work and then trying to put it together in that fashion. So, to see this actually stay in flight in that weird Z formation, that not exactly a Z, it's kind of like a weird, I'm not sure, Z for a lot of people that are wondering what the heck I'm saying with Z. Z or Z, 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 yes. Some people do say Z for Z. So, that is basically how it would fly. Let's let's try that one more time because this is really weird to see. Look at that! Oh god! No. <laughs> and it stays in flight. There you go. That's something I probably would have not thought to try. I wonder if I put these like this, if I could now. Yes, there you go. There you go. There you go. I'm draining a lot of power, but there you go. Staying in flight, nice and balanced. So, wow, it can work. It can work even in this crazy Kerbal world. It can work. <laughs> Aurora, you are a crazy company. And Darfa, you are just as crazy. I love you guys. But if you guys like what you say, hit that like button, drop me in the comment. Let me know what you think. I'll put a link to Darpa's Volt Project Vulture stuff and all the Odysseus, Aurora flight science stuff. Links in the description down below so you can check it out. It's really cool stuff. Really good read. And it's even cooler to know that it can work in Kerbal Space Program. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I definitely have enjoyed this build. Very interesting. Very interesting. I will catch you guys in the next video. I did not think this was going to fly. I didn't think it was going to fly in Z formation. But hey, whatever. Definitely share this out to your friends. Subscribe if you have not already. And I'll catch you in the next video. This is your boy Jatuan. I'm out. Peace. I can't believe this song is still in the air. <laughs> if I give you all nightmares, I do apologize. This is This is horrible. Oh, God. I tend to have some trouble. That was...
All sorts of awesome right there. I can't believe they even work. And uh, yeah, it creates.